welcome back to Release the Crafton. Priscilla here with the uh, inaugural launch of my uh, first ever November Poem a Day Challenge. So I decided I, um, rewind, I was going through some stuff, found some old poetry that I had written, and was just honestly thinking like, I haven't written a poem in ages, and I used to write poems all the time, like, I love poems, and I wanted to do something like a challenge for you guys, um, to sort of celebrate hitting 2,500 subscribers, now that we're, like, past that, I know this is a little delayed, but I wanted to do something like that, I wanted there to be a giveaway, I, I just didn't know what to do, because I wanted to make it something, you know, that people could participate in, and I was thinking about that, and thinking about these poems, and so I put those two together, and present to you um our poem a day challenge so i was thinking about um november being nanowrimo which um is the national novel writing month thing i had to think about that um and i'm i'm not i'm not going to write a novel this month maybe next year um but i wanted to do something literary i wanted to write something um i've been really like itching to get back into writing i used to write a lot all the time before um and i just sort of have fallen away from it but i thought you know what i i, I can't write a novel this month that's I, I just don't have the focus for that but i can write some poems and here's the thing you guys might be thinking like oh priscilla i can't do this challenge i'm not good at poetry but but here's the thing Nobody is good at poetry, you guys. Like, that that's an insider secret that people in the industry don't want you to know. But absolutely nobody is good at poetry. The, the thing that makes poems good is that they resonate with you. And what resonates with you isn't going to resonate with everybody else. So, you know, there's going to be those of us, the right people, who um, think that Edgar Allan Poe is one of the greatest poets of all time. And there's going to be other people the incorrect people, who uh, disagree because it just doesn't vibe with them. And that's okay. Like, that's how poetry works. It's totally subjective. It's fine. Um, your favorite poem might be somebody's least favorite poem. That's, like, how subjective I think that poems are. So I don't want you to feel like, oh, my poems aren't good, therefore I can't participate. That's not the case. If it resonates with you, it is a perfectly good, perfectly valid poem. And they we're not going for, like achievements in literature here what i want to see at the end of this month is a nice little packet of poems like something you could put into like a little journal for yourself and just be like hey i did this so let me jump into the challenge here so i wrote um i made this ta-da this prompt list that was probably really disorienting thanks focus um it's gonna be up on the blog on my new uh website which i will link below it's just an etsy website it's nothing fancy but i have a blog section now so i can share more stuff with you guys so this will be up there for you guys to find i'll post it on instagram as well um i may log into facebook but don't quote me on that um if you are having difficulties getting it my email i think is in the description so you can email me and I will email you a copy if you can't get it any other way. But trust, it's going to be on the website. You can right click and save. It's going to be super easy. So you can print this out and have this at home. Um, I picked a word for every day. And the way that the challenge works, you guys, is you, you get your word and you write a poem. And that's it. <laughs> it's, it is so simple, so straightforward. Um, I'm going to show you guys as the month goes along uh, what I do with this, uh, the things that will qualify for this challenge, for starters. I need to look at my notes, hold on. Just the most consummate professional, always. Um, for this challenge, you need to write one poem a day. Any style um, is allowed. To be counted, you have to post your poem using the hashtag RTC Poetry 21. I will put that in the description. I will put this in the video. It is on the prompt list. Um, use that hashtag, otherwise I won't see it. You, you gotta post it someplace I will see it, and as we have learned, I don't really go on Facebook, so I won't see it on Facebook, you guys. I'm sorry, I, I wanna say, like, I'll be super vigilant, and I'll check Facebook, but I'm not, I'm not going to. So instead of setting yourself up for disappointment, and for me to be disappointed in myself, 
Um, we're going to post on Instagram. We're going to post on YouTube. Um, we can also post on TikTok. I use TikTok a lot. I don't have any videos there yet. Um, I may consider making one this month. But uh, I am on TikTok. So I will see it in any of those locations. You don't have to post a video a day or a post a day. Just compile your poetry. Post it there. I will see it. Use this hashtag. That's the only way I'll see it. Um, your poem has to either include the word for the prompt. So for the first day, the first word is rain. So it either needs to include the word rain in your poem or be a poem about rain. So you can do an entire poem about rain and never mention rain once. As long as the poem is about rain, it qualifies. Or you can do a poem that has nothing to do with rain and just use the word rain. I don't think this could be more flexible if I tried. There, there should be no barriers, hopefully. Um, it, has, it can be written. You know, so you can write them out and just post pictures of what you wrote, type it up, whatever you want to do, you can um, turn it into something visual. And I'll show you guys a couple ideas I have for that as we go through the months. So you can get kind of an idea what I mean. I will have a video for the first day um, so you can see that right away. I'm going to do something visual for you guys to get an idea of some inspiration on how you can turn your poems into something more than just text. Um, so it can be written or it can be visual, but it has to be actual poems. So you can't take... Um, artwork and be like, here's this poem. It's it, it's got to be a poem, you guys. Like, you can't just show a picture of a tag you made and be like, that's my poem. Um, unless your poem is on that tag, then it would qualify. Um, the same thing. I know that some of you um may feel that you're not the best writers, so you may be a little apprehensive, and maybe you want to compile poetry um to match this. That's something you can do for funsies. It's not going to qualify for the challenge. So please don't take other people's poetry and call it your own or put it into this challenge because I want to see what you guys come up with. It can be the most basic, simple stuff, and we'll go into that in a second. Um, we'll go into that right now because that was all the, the rules. So those are the rules. Use the hashtag, post it on Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok, and I will see it. Um, and just follow the prompts <laughs> and follow along with me. And I'll be sharing it here all through the month. I'll do some weekly recaps. I'll do some, um, like, individual videos. We'll do some art with me um, to see how we can incorporate our poetry into that. Um, it should just be a fun month, and I want you guys to have fun and experiment with it. So getting into how you can make this a simple challenge if you are intimidated by the idea of writing a poem every day. The simplest way, and I did this for day one, um, and I'll probably do it again because I, I really enjoy them, is just do a haiku. You guys not, might not be familiar with them. That's something we learned in English class. It's a um, Japanese style of poetry. It's only three lines long, typically. Um, Every line has a different number of syllables, so it's five syllables, seven syllables, and the last line is five syllables again, and that's it. <laughs> and that's, it's so straightforward. You just take your words, you match up to the syllables, you've got a poem. Um, you can also do free verse, which has no rhyme scheme and no meter, so you don't have to follow a certain flow, you don't have to make it like seem cohesive. Just write a little block of text that sort of gets across what you're trying to convey. Uh... You can also do rhyme poetry, which is my preferred form of poetry um, because I enjoy rhymes. Um, and that can be anything you want. It can be ionic pentameter. It can be a sonnet. It can be anything. Um, it can just be like an A, B, A, B rhyme scheme where, you know, every other line rhymes. It could be four lines. It could be any lines. It just rhymes. That's what rhyme poetry is. Um, you can also write a limerick, which I think is pretty fun. And I think I want to try to do that. Um... Those have a different rhyme scheme. It's A, A, B, B, A. So the first two in the last line rhyme, and then the middle or the third third and fourth lines rhyme with each other. That was harder to explain. Um, I'm not an English teacher, so bear with me. Or you can do an acrostic poem. So you could take um, a word, like let's say for day four, the prompt is honey. You could take that word and just use the first letter of each word and spell out honey on the side and then write a line that begins with each letter. That's an acrostic poem. Those are just the kinds of poems I could think of. Um, I tried to find some easy type stuff and just some basic stuff that you guys could go over. I'm sure you guys know way more than I do. Um, but there's just some examples of different types of poems that you can do and apply to this challenge that should make it easier for you. Or if you wanted to like challenge yourself, you could write the different types of poems and make like a paper dice or 
like a little jar that you draw things out of and be like, this is the word I'm taking and this is the type of poem I'm going to write. I'm not going to do that because I don't like to be uh, told what to do, but you might enjoy the challenge. Um, I know some of you guys really rise to challenges, which is really cool. Um, so that might be something you can do to like plus up the, the challenge. But um, I don't know. I will read these to you. Not that there's anything special here, but for the sake of um, documentation, there are 30 prompts because there are 30 days in November. Uh, day one is rain. And then day two is melancholy. Day three is your favorite flower. So that's a free choice. Uh, day four is honey. Day five is pick a song. Day six is insect. Then candlelight for seven. Day eight is witches. Day nine is dreams. Day 10 is nightmares. 11th is warm. Warmth. Uh, day 12 is ice. 13 is going to be about your favorite color. 14 is gratitude. For 16, it's going to be about spirits. Uh, day 16, 15, did I say so? Starting fresh. Day 16 is smile. 17 is flight. 18 is about storms. Uh, 19 is pick a food. 20 is mist. 21 is earth. Uh, 22 is future. Day 23 is going to be about pumpkins. Day 24 for your favorite season. Uh, day 25 about family. That's Thanksgiving, I believe. Um, so I thought that was appropriate. Day 26 um, is about the past. Day 27 is for sunrise. Day 28 is forest. Day 29 is about solitude. And day 30 is gifts, which seems apropos. We're rolling into December after that. So it's just really basic words. Um, pretty straightforward. I tried to get like a good mix of like cheerful things, more like introverted thoughts kind of things. I want some spooky things. And of course we couldn't slip by without some witchy things. And um, I think the, the, the pick of songs and the pick of colors and stuff like that, those are going to be really fun because everyone's going to have something different. Um, and it's going to be a little bit more free. So I'm really excited to see what people come up with the, for those. Um, and like I said, this isn't just a challenge. It's also going to be a giveaway. So if you participate in the challenge and you use the hashtag and I comment on whatever you um, share that I have seen and accepted your entry, you will be entered in to said giveaway. Um, and I will pick somebody at the end of the month, random distressor, uh, blending tool. It's called a blending tool. Uh, I'll pick somebody at the end of the month and we will, uh, give away some fabulous prizes, which are, uh, TBD. I will announce them probably about the halfway point through the month um, when I do like a recap video and I think you guys will like the stuff that I'm giving away. Maybe we'll do more than one giveaway because it is kind of a big deal and this is kind of a big challenge for my channel at least. Um, but that's it. Yeah, you guys, I'm excited. I'm excited to write some stuff. I'm excited to sort of flex my muscles. I think um, some of my poems are going to be real rough and that's going to be cringe, but I'm going to share them anyways. I'm not going to be shy about it, um, because I'm just doing this for fun and, um, not to get published. So I think this will be a good time and, um, maybe I'll get some good ones out of it. Who knows? Um, I'm really excited to see what everybody has, um, what you guys come up with. I think you guys are probably going to be better poets than me and I really look forward to it. And that's it. That's everything. Um, if you guys think of anything you want to ask me or want to know, I'll leave that in the comments below. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'll put all the details down there too. So if you made it to the end of this video, I just want to say I appreciate your faces. And I will catch you guys all next time. Have a great one. <laughs> Bye!